So welcome everyone to Mobility Flexibility. If you're watching the recording, welcome. If you're here live with us, welcome as well. Um, so yeah, so today we will be stretching um, our entire body from our chair to standing up to the floor. Um, but for you folks that are here live with me, you guys kind of have a, a little, I guess, more of decision making. So um, if you guys have any requests on muscle groups or joints that you want to stretch, um, feel free and just um, type it in on the chat or you could just unmute yourself and speak up. Otherwise, um, we'll just go through our routine, start with our face, work our way down. Um, but if you want to spend a little bit more time, I know in the past we've done a little bit more neck and shoulders, um, but you folks let me know what you guys prefer and we'll get started. So, all right. So let's just go ahead. And so I'm actually looking forward to this class. I woke up, just had plans of waking up at four to go to the gym and woke up at 5.30, just feeling like a bag of sand. So, um, so yeah, so I'm actually looking forward to this. So let's go ahead. Open our mouth as wide as we can. Look up, shut your jaw, and let's get that nice stretch here. And we're going to go through these exercises uh, once a week. Now they may get a little repetitive, but again, we're hitting up um, most of our muscle groups. So muscle groups, ligaments, tendons, joints. So open wide, look up, close that jaw. Let's continue going. Try to incorporate a little bit of balance, but everything in this class should be fairly relaxed for today. So about five more of those. Oh, my left cheek is a little tight. But, uh, right. Awesome. So now let's go ahead and then just um, palpate from our earlobes to down our jawline, just gently touches, gentle touches. I just um, subscribe to, I'm not one to, to do random subscriptions. Um, if anything, I think right now, I just have a subscription to Netflix that I've had since I was about 18 years old. And then now let's go from the side of our eyes down to the side of our lips. And then I think I'm borrowing a friend's Disney Plus and HBO. So um, I think they're tracking down on those, but I know Netflix did. But, but anyway, so um, on YouTube, you could also subscribe to certain channels. And there's this um, there's a professor um, that teaches exercise physiology, I believe, in Lane University in New York City. Um, but yeah, so I subscribe to his channel, and I believe it's 2 or $3 a month. And it's really pretty good quality um, videos. And, you know, there's some regular videos. Let's go ahead and then just use the soft part of our knuckles and then just um, palpate our cheeks. So, um, so yeah, so I, I, I subscribed to him and um, one of the videos he had just posted was about um, how some folks, you know, sometimes um, stop or hate working out because the, the movements become so repetitive or exercises become so repetitive. And, you know, when I was listening to that, um, I thought exactly of our classes because I know uh, a lot of the stuff that we do is um, repetitive. Let's go ahead and blow up our cheeks of air and I just puff that left to right. Um, so again, just working on stretching little wrinkles that we might have around our lips, around our nose, our cheeks. Just continue that. Let's do that for about 30 seconds. But yeah, so, um, and he had an example of, um, you know, sometimes there's these Hollywood celebrities that 
have these huge body transformations. And, um, but some of those folks sometimes aren't used to working out often. And so they need entertainment and switching up exercises and, oh, that's boring. I need to do something else. Um, but when you switch things up too much, sometimes there isn't that development because you're working out different uh, muscle groups. You guys got that. Let's move it up to our upper lip and lower lip. So again, just up and down, up and down. If you get a little sore, we'll just keep on going with that. Um, but yeah, but long story short, you know, pretty much she was just saying, um, you know, we got to continuously stress out those muscle groups. So I think the routine we had over the summer um, of six days, and I know sometimes we repeated exercises, like that's the type of stuff that we want to do. But if we do um, change the workouts out completely all the time, you won't see that progression. So bear with me and my classes, but yeah, but we'll continue with, with some of like the, the movements that we have been doing. We only see them once a week anyways. So let's go ahead, inhale through our nose for about three seconds. Exhale through your little windpipe. Now, if you're doing all these exercises every day of the week, then yeah, we have a problem. But I, I really doubt we're we're sitting in front of a mirror and opening up our jaw and closing it. And... You should feel that core tightening up. Going to a Dodger game tonight. Should be fun. Go Dodgers. Not sure he's an Angels fan. <laughs> and then, oh man, I need to hydrate well today. I don't know if I shared it with you, but I told my wife for her birthday she could pick any day of the year and I'd take her and the family to Disneyland. And guess where we're going tomorrow? Yeah, you're going to Disneyland tomorrow, so. Did you get the resident uh, fee they're having that starts in September, like for $83? Oh, I, I'm not even going to mention that to my wife. That's for three days. You have to buy three days worth at different parks. Yeah, I'm not going to bring that up to her because she'll probably <laughs> want to go. No, so <laughs> tomorrow would be, yeah, Thursday, so August. So no, I think there you go. Get that cord tight. It just was advertised. I, I I'm yeah, sure. yeah. No, she. I know in the past. Very good. Let's go. Now we're gonna go ahead and start with our um next stretches. So left to right. Um, I know in the past I've been a like a past member holder, and um, luckily I think, well, I wouldn't say fortunately, but. I made sure that I got my money's worth. Let's just say that. So you know, <laughs> like, if I'm going to pay $900 a year for this pass, I was there sometimes on um, twice a week. And, uh, but I would go after, you know, I would get out of work around 7 PM and around the holidays, they had this really good um, turkey pot pie. Let's look up and down. So sometimes I would, you know, with that pass, Parking was free as well. So I would just go there and I got like 20% discount on some food items. Sometimes I would just go for dinner and, you know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to head home. I'm craving that tricky pot pie. But, um, but yeah, but then now it's like, I think that 800 or $900 passed from 2017. Now it's like 1300. So I'm not going to go that often. I'd rather take the kids to the airport and look at planes or something. That's fun. Yeah. I think I might do that on Sunday with Julian. This is next circles. Or we could just go to $1 games at Angel Stadium. So. <laughs> is that at Angel Stadium for a dollar? Yeah, tickets are a dollar. The service fee is $5. So. So six dollar tickets, pretty much. I gotta check that out. Yeah, and 
you probably have like maybe three weeks left because um I doubt they're gonna make playoffs. And um yeah, September is pretty much when the season regular season ends. Switch directions? Oh man. I've only gone to one game and it was just really nice. Oh, you gotta go to more. I watch them, but I I don't get there with the schedules. Yeah. Some of the week weeknight um games are around six forty five or seven PM, so Yeah. Traffic is the challenge. <laughs> Well, Dodgers are playing pretty good. I've been watching. Yeah. They're hitting good. Uh -huh. All right, let's sit on that left hand. Fix that left shoulder, right hand over. Yeah, I believe it's supposed to cool off a little bit starting tomorrow. Um, should be in the 70s on the weekend, hopefully. I think this class was too easy for Carmen. She's not here today. She she wanted to go um <laughs> a little hard today, but you no, know, I, I woke up a little sore and I'm gonna try to work out after class, but I I also started running, training for this half marathon. So I think my body's like, what are you doing to me? Slow it down a little. Very good. All right, let's bring that right hand across. So just a reminder on Monday, we're not meeting on um, Labor Day. So school and all classes are closed tomorrow. So if you have any other classes, um, they won't be happening on Monday. Switch. Reach up. Push up. Lean right. Lean left. Relax the shoulders a little bit. We still have more upper shoulder stuff going on, but we'll relax them. So let's do door opener. So elbow in. I'll just go in here and out. Yeah, so we're gonna throw my mom a surprise um, birthday party uh, mid-October. So one of my sisters-in-laws is um, 
expecting maybe i feel like there's just babies now coming left and right from friends and family that switch so we're, we're gonna um, play it off as if we're decorating for a baby shower i don't know how we're gonna do that with pink or blue balloons but um we're gonna do that and then but we're just gonna invite some of my mom's closest friends and uh, relatives and yeah so she's turning 65 yeah. She thinks I'm taking her to the casino for her birthday, which I probably still will. Um, but I have I, I cannot like, you know, if it's a surprise, I gotta at least do something prior to make her think that's all she's getting. But um yeah, let's go up here. Switch. So keep that straight arm, then just drop it. Awesome. We're gonna go ahead, plant your fists together up front, look down, push forward, come back, down, push. Two more. One. Oh, man. I'm sore. All right, we're going to do our cat scratching pose here. So we're sitting far back. Hands are up. Back is straight all the way down. And reset. Let's do eight of these. Try to keep your, your glutes on the chair. Don't come off your chair. One more. Oh. All righty. Very good. All right, we'll rest the shoulders a little bit. We still got a little bit more for the shoulders, but we'll rest them now. So let's just do our cross curls, working on the lateral side of our biceps. So about 10 on each arm. Very 
really good. Palms up, and then now we're pushing down. And this would be mimicking a tricep press down. Let's go elbows up and separate as far back as you can. Come together, repeat. Very good. All right, let's go ahead and start um, making our way down. So we're gonna go ahead and just sit here in our chair, reach with the backrest, and then just turn gently, don't hurt your back. And hold for about 25 to 30 seconds. I'm going to switch, switch sides. Hip opener, so sit a little bit more forward, bring the right leg out, torso stays forward. And then again, try not to let that leg collapse. So put your hand there, get a little bit more of a stretch. Switch. So you're still facing forward, the leg straight. Awesome. All right, let's go performance stretch. Making our way down. So right ankle, left knee. Just gonna hang out here. All right, let's add a little bit of pressure or lean on that knee a little bit, a little bit more of a stretch.
bring that knee up. Good stretch coming right there here. Yeah, on, on Monday evening, I saw my two clients I haven't seen since June. And um, let's just say out of the hour session, we probably worked out about 12 minutes because they were so um, tight. I wouldn't say out of shape necessarily, but just tight. And, um, you know, I think if we did a set of jumping jacks or two, and they were okay with that. But when it came to getting on the floor and doing certain positions, um, yeah, they're just really tight. So I think that's, like I said, we just got to keep moving and stretching because I'd rather, I personally, I'd rather be a little weaker with lifting weights than being uncomfortable to just sit down or stand up. And um, that's kind of where, there we are getting that. And um, and then I think it's a husband and wife. And the wife, I think she did one day after not lifting for two months. And she went pretty heavy. And she hurt her lower back and leg. So we we're very, very limited in what we can do. So like, we got to get back on it. Just, just push down. I'm sure we've all had few weeks off sometimes and then come back and it's not the best feeling. Right, knee up. Slug it. So then I'm going to check the chat. Maybe there's a request. Oh, nope, just good morning. Good morning. All right, we're half an hour in. Let's take a one minute break. Just grab some water. If you want to take your shoes off, take your shoes off. We're 30 minutes in. We're still in the chair, so don't get rid of your chair quite yet. Does anybody want to meet Saturday at Isle Square Park? Yeah. Anybody want to meet Saturday at Mile Square Park? I'll, closer to the time, I have to just see what's going on with my plan of kids. <laughs> okay. I, I got six weeks of volleyball uh, tournaments with my daughter-in-law that she's on Saturday. So I, I pick up the kids because my son works all day. So I I don't know till closer to the time, but I'll try. If okay. it's early, I, I can maybe try to get there before I pick them up. I have an air conditioned guy coming on Saturday between eight and three. So you know how it is. You don't know what time it is. Oh, like, yeah. That's important to get that yeah, working. It's, it's been. I'm going to try. Two months. I think Carmen's going to be there. I haven't. I texted her this morning and I haven't heard back. Yeah, she's, she's all good. Let's go ahead and do our leg extension. So recline back. Bring your knee up. Extend. Yeah, I still haven't um, decided where my team's meeting this weekend. They are racing on Friday. So I'm hoping, I think uh, a pretty good run that I like after a race is meeting um, near Bolsa Chica. Uh, just the, the wetlands out there. Um, it's flat. It's soft surface. It's good for the legs. So uh, if... If I don't post anything by Friday noon, maybe one of you guys could email me or, or message me and I could go on the chat or on the on the class and I'll let you folks know where we're meeting. In case I'm thinking Bolsa Chica or maybe Carbon Canyon um, in Brea. So keep you posted. 
But yeah, but if there's a group at Mile Square Park and that's easy to get to, then go for it. Yeah, do that. It's always nice to have people come together. Let's switch. Yeah, it'd be hard to get my kids to go to Mile Square Park because we have Hartwell Park right next to the college uh, here in Long Beach. And um, it's not a square like, like Mile Square Park, but it does cross over about two miles. Um, so I think my, my team is pretty tired of running on a bike path or at a park. <laughs> so, so I tried to take them to the trails. All right, we're going to do the leg press motion now. Again, tuck in and out. So I'll do 10 of these. Try to get a full stretch. And also, you can drop the leg down a little bit. It doesn't have to be just straight. Okay, down. And if anyone wants to sign up to the half marathon I'm doing, it's November 4th, San Diego. I really hope I stay healthy for that. Every time I sign up for a race, something happens. Now it's, I never go. It's been a long, long time since I stepped on the, the start of a race feeling 100%. I think the last time I actually raced was in um, 2015. I think that was the last time I raced. So we'll see how it goes. All right, we're going to do our clock tower stretch for our knees. So just slight elevation and then just lateral movement left to right. Again, not much motion going on, but just left to right. It's joint. All right, let's do little circles. We just bring that lower leg to a clockwise circle motion. Try not to move your upper leg. Reverse. Okay, switch. It's the left leg now, left to right. Clockwise circular motion. Switch. All right, so feet are flat. Now we're just gonna do calf raises. Just about 20 of them. Toe raises now. So drop your toes. Toes up, heels stay flat.
right ankle ABCs. All right, very good. Let's go ahead. If you have a small rag or socks, we can remove those. We're just gonna do a little bit of strengthening for our feet. So yeah, if you're barefoot already, um, then yeah, grab a little towel or a bag. And if you have socks on, just remove them. So what we're gonna do is just kinda grab the sock, pick it up, drop it, and fix it. And we'll do about 12 of these. Okay. Again, this is if you're flat footed like I am. You should be doing these, and I should be doing these every day. All right. Just working on those tendons. In the switch. Of course, the left one's always tougher. I feel like the left one only works for me if I have, if my nails are super long, <laughs> if I have claws for my toes. Otherwise, I struggle. And make sure you, you try to get with a really strong grip. All right, if you have a golf ball, softball, baseball, let's roll out our arches. So again, if you're flat-footed, this should be a daily routine. You should have a little golf ball by your couch, the side of your bed, just kind of roll out. And you want to get the whole, you don't want to just go forward and back. You want to make sure you rotate, get the sides. Find a spot that's a little tender and push down. And then just relax a little bit. Just to relax, push down again. Okay. We'll switch. Kind of find that tender spot. Yeah, 
bro. One more. Hold that inside arch. Yeah, so try pressing on that inside arch, pushing down and rolling. That feels some tenderness there. Okay. All right. I'm gonna stay third foot. Okay. So all right. So we're gonna go ahead and do some of our standing um, exercises. So not just our shoulders. We'll try to get through some chest, some hip, some hamstring. So. Maybe we won't be on the floor too long today. So, okay, so this one is gonna be the chest one. So I'm parallel to my um, my stand here. And I'm just gonna, so if you have a doorway, so you're just standing forward and then I'm just gonna turn my torso to my right while that arm stays fixed and you should feel a stretch coming along through here. Okay, so again, you're, you're gonna be, here, facing forward, and then just turn it. So just turning my torso to my right side while I'm actually shifting my feet too. So I'm facing about 45 degrees to my right from that original starting spot. All right, now I'm going to do my right side. Again, I'm standing here, parallel, and then I'm turning 45 degrees to my left. Very good. Now I'm going to place my forearm, entire forearm, on this stretch here. And again, same thing, just rotate. Just feel it a little bit more on the inside of your chest. Again, it's a good way to stretch out your chest, shoulder, a little bit of your back. Ready. Okay, let's go ahead and do our our hip swings or our leg swings over the chair, holding the pose. Up here, you could use the top side or the lower side that you sit on, and if even that's shy, you could just kind of do circular motions. But if you can just come over, then reverse. All right, I'm going to switch legs, switch sides.
Okay. And do another one. So this one, again, I would only do this first one we're gonna do, it's just kind of like a, a step into the chair. And then we're just gonna lean forward. Okay, so you should feel either a stretch here, and if your heel's flat on the on the leg that's supporting you, you should feel a stretch by your calf too. Just kind of go in here. Yep, if that chair is along a wall, even better. This chair is about to tip over forward, so just make sure you have a safe spot. Another one we can do here with the chair too, or if you have a couch, we're just gonna stand here. And we, we kind of do this one already when we're kneeling, we put the leg out and we lean forward, but this time we're just kind of leaning forward this way. Do that throughout the inside of your thigh, maybe on your leg that's holding you up. Then kind of bring your torso up, toes up, turn your torso towards that leg, and then lean forward. Reset. To the other leg. Leg is there, and then just forward. Right, turn your torso towards your leg. Now lean towards that leg. We'll do a little bit of balance work while we're here. So let's go ahead and do right foot in front of our left. We're just standing here. Let's look left to right. Up and down. All right, close your eyes. Oh, and there you go. All right, so close your eyes. I'm stepped over. Been a while since I've done these balance exercises.
open your eyes. Elevate your hind leg about an inch off the ground. And let's kind of do a high knee with it, then bring it back. Just repeat, we'll do about eight of these. Once you've done those, let's get the yoga mat on the floor. Let's do our floor exercises of some of them. First, we're going to be on our side. I want you to reach with your right leg that's on top. Reach as far back as you can. Once you can anymore, drop your heel, and we should have that nice stretch here. Okay, so again, you're here. Top leg reaches as far back as you can, and drop it. And that should keep you in a fixed position, stretching from your inner groin down towards your knee. We're just going to hold this for about 30 seconds. Right, reset it. Now we're going to go forward. So bring that leg up as high as you can, and then just kind of hold it there. Once you can't go any more, then just drop it. You'll probably feel it sliding down. You should feel that stretch in your hamstring now. All right, reset. All right, since we're on this side, let's do our book openers from this side. So just, you could tuck in your knees a little bit, stack your hands. Then let's do 10 of these to just follow through all the way back. Repeat. You're just following your hands with your eyes. Try not to move your legs. All right, we'll switch. Okay, now to my right side, I'm gonna go with that left leg as far back as I can, and then drop that foot, get a stretch running down. Okay, 
let's bring that leg forward. Or as you can, and drop it. Feel the stretch on your hamstring now. All right, book openers, 10 of those. Ooh. All right, once you've done 10 um, book openers, we're going to get into sit up position, hands at our side. And we're going to do knee drops. Okay, so knee drops, you just drop your knees off to the side, bring them back, and then drop to the other side, keeping your back flat on the floor. We'll do eight on each side. So about two more on each side. Be that. Once you're done with those, let's go ahead and just lay flat. We're gonna bring our knee towards our chest. And if you like, you can do little um, pumps with your foot, so just kind of push your toes up and down. A switch. All right, we have just our last two here. So what we're gonna do is just bring our knee up, but then now off to the side, okay? So again, we're going here and then almost like a hip opener, kind of pushing that out. So it might not make contact with the floor, unless you can do the splits. We're just holding it there, allowing that 
inner groin, get a stretch. Relax. Other leg. Just do me a favor, roll on your belly, face down, just pressing on your elbows. And do a last little stretch for our back here and we'll be good. Now feel your hands where your elbows are and then Bring your clothes back and there. Well, that should do it. You have, you have your three-day weekend coming up now. So on this recording.